Okay, creating a cartoon hand in Blender. First we start with our default cube. Hit the S key to fill it in a wee bit. And the 0 key to bring it into camera view. Uh, right click to select it. And then the N key. And this is the brings up the transform properties. And we've got the dimensions here and we wanted to make the dimension of the z-axis instead of 2 we want to make it 1 and it'll collapse it down a wee bit uh, so we can have a wee bit of a flatter palm and then if we hit the tab key to get into our editing mode hit the A key to deselect them all and down here you can see our vertices selection tool edge selection tool, faces selection tool and then there's another button here and this allows you to select hidden points uh, behind the forward most uh, vertices and faces and edges um, and if it's greyed out you can see that it's got a ghosted line and it'll allow you to select those but we don't want that so we'll click on it to make sure it's not greyed out and then we hit the control R key to create an edge loop. Edge loops are very important in organic modeling uh, so that when you rig characters that the, um, the geometry bends the correct in the correct manner and there's no uh, deforming of the mesh. So I'm going to have three fingers so then I click on the faces tool and then right click, shift right click and then hit the E, extrude individual faces and then Alt S or Option S to scale them down a bit and then the E key again bring them out again and then the E key again extrude them out again the fingertips then the rotate tool rotate round slightly bring these up and then we'll go into a top view A to deselect all we'll go to our vertice selection tool hit the B key for box select and I'm going to it's not going to allow me to use box select unfortunately so I'll select these individually um, by shift right clicking like so and we want to increase the size of these actually what I'll do I'll try and box select the whole lot exaggerated cartoon feel basically so there we go okay go to the top view by hitting the 7 and the number numeric keypad and then the 5 to go to uh, orthographic view I believe hit the A key again to deselect and we need another edge loop across the palm and we'll put it right smack bang in the middle there now most a lot of tutorials teach you to model a hand by bringing the thumb out of the edge of the hand whereas I prefer to bring it out of the, the edge of the palm and I'll show you how that's done so we'll select that uh, face there hit the S key scale up move up slightly hit your rotation tool rotate it out slightly and up slightly and we need to bring this out okay and then we need to extrude so the E key again then we shrink it down a wee bit the E key again so extruding three times as per the fingers okay and then we'll shrink that down as well so you can see we've got our thumb there select this crease here and push it out slightly and then if we go to our modifiers and add a subsurf modifier make the levels 2 instead of 1 and hit set smooth like so hit the tab key again you can see sort of the beginning 
settings of our hand there. So then it's just a matter of tweaking the vertices to get what you want. Obviously, the, the, this little pinky finger will be smaller, so grab the vertices and bring it back and, and just resize like, like so. And then if we grab this face here, extrude out, and then that simply attaches to our arm. And that is your cartoon hand.